Hey you guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all well. I was thinking about what I might give you as a recipe for Easter and the obvious choice would be something with lamb but of late I have been doing quite a lot of lamb recipe videos so I thought what I might do is give you that other great Easter staple, chocolate. Here is my Rustin's Boneyard chocolate mousse recipe that I developed for those wonderful folks over at The Healthy Rebellion, Rob Wolf, Nikki Violetti, etc. It is such a cool community, really nice people, really supportive, amazing courses they're running over there, a load of interesting sort of scientific stuff if you're, if you're into all that. I would strongly recommend it, join.thehealthyrebellion.com. Now, I really want you to make this. I want you to take a picture of it. I want you to put it on Instagram and tag me so that I can see what you're cooking and we can talk about it and all other things cooking. Uh, come and find me on there. Come and find me on YouTube. Really hope that this goes well for you and happy Easter, you guys. I'm gonna to use toasted hazelnuts on top of my mousse, so I'm gonna put these hazelnuts in the oven and uh, get them toasting off so that I can remove the skins. So I'm gonna pop these into this dish and put them in a medium oven. Um, it's always worth, just in case you burn them, it's worth keeping a few back. So I'm just gonna put a few into here. Uh, I'll put these in the oven. Okay, now we can get on with the mousse proper. Now what I've got here is a saucepan with a little bit of water in the bottom. On my burner, I've got two big mixing bowls, but one of them should fit just in the top of here without touching the water underneath. Now this is called a bain-marie, and what it's doing is basically just heating the bowl gently, and we're gonna use this to melt chocolate, okay? So let's get some heat on this first of all. Let's have a look at our ingredients. Okay, so we've got some 100% chocolate. You know, this dessert is all about the chocolate. The chocolate is the thing we're really gonna taste the most. So if we use a decent one, it's gonna make the result that much better. I like this one, Montezuma, absolute black. You can get it on Amazon. This is a 90 gram bar. And I want 30 grams per portion. So I am gonna take two thirds of this, break this up, into my bowl. The smaller we break it, the faster it's gonna melt. This water's gonna start to simmer and it's gonna melt, slowly melt that chocolate. In the meantime, we need to sort out our eggs. So we've got four eggs here. I'm gonna take two small bowls. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just separate the whites. When we're beating out whites, we do not want any yolk getting into the whites at all. Crack an egg, open it out, tip it into your hand, there we go, Whoop. and we can discard the shell, a bit there. So now I've got the yolk in my hand, I've let the white run through into this bowl, and I've put the yolk in the other bowl. Now what I can see is that no yolk has now broken and gone into this white. So I'll put that into my mixing bowl. Now this, by doing it this way, I can make sure that if I do break a yolk, I'm only wasting one egg and not the whole bowl of whites. So there we go, just one more. Put that in there. Yolk into there. Let's do the next one. There we go. You can see this white is really stuck to this yolk. That's a really good sign. It means the egg is really fresh. That's another one. No yolk in it. Tip it into there. Last one. There we go. Now it's a bit of a messy business, of course, but electric whisk, let's whisk these to stiff peaks, okay? So it's gonna take a couple of minutes, but what we're gonna do is just keep moving around until this gets nice and thick, and when we pull the whisk out, we see stiff peaks holding their shape, okay? So. Okay. 
this is what we call soft peaks. This is sort of halfway done. So we've got peaks, but, but they're kind of falling over. So we're gonna keep going. Okay, so we've got our chocolate nicely melted now. We can turn this heat off. Here's our chocolate, you can see it's really looking really good. A little dash of vanilla. Oops. Not much, half a teaspoon maybe. Liquid stevia. Okay. Eight drops, and we're going to put some raw honey in. I'm going to weigh this, I'm just going to pop this onto here. Have a teaspoon here, and I'm going to go for 20 grams. It's going to be about that. Pop that in. That. 15, tiny bit more. Just fold it all nicely through. Into here, we put about one third of our egg whites. A little bit more, about that much. There we go. And then I'm just gonna mix this. We're going to put in the rest of our egg whites, the remaining two thirds. Now we need to be careful, this is a bit of a balancing act, because if we mix it too aggressively, like if we mixed it with the electric whisk, we would beat all of the air out of the eggs. And then we wouldn't have a mousse, we'd have a kind of paste. So what we're going to do is just continue just turning this over mixing it through and getting this to a kind of light brown creamy looking consistency ramekins here they are we want to be quite careful not to spill it down the edges if we can possibly help it there we go one Ooh. A bit more and two. We've got our two ramekins now, they just go into the fridge and set. So, my mousse is setting in the fridge. Here are my hazelnuts, I've just taken them out of the oven. And what we can see now is that if I rub these with my fingers, you can start to see the skins flaking off. Sometimes you have to give them a bit of a scrape. Uh, Let's see what else we've got. Here we've got one that's just falling off completely. In, this one's slightly burning my fingers. Oh well, wouldn't be the first time. If you find that you're taking the skins off and they're completely blackened and burnt underneath, do them again. Or leave them off if you haven't got any more. Or use a different nut, do something different, but don't put them on if they're really bitter. It's not, it's not a good, not a good flavour. Okay, so there's just a couple here, which for whatever reason haven't wanted to peel. You can start scraping them with a knife or whatever with your fingernail, but I just can't really be bothered. So I've got quite a few here that are good enough for rock and roll. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. There we go. And we can just crush these. Gently. If you haven't got a pestle and mortar, try popping them on a board, putting a bit of um, grease proof paper or something around them, popping on the board and just crushing them with another board or a rolling pin or whatever you've got. They smell really lovely. This really lovely toasty kind of caramelly smell to them. So now we've got our Beautiful chocolate mousse, our lovely toasted hazelnuts, and some fresh raspberries. Here's what we're going to do. Take a piece of paper, hold it over half 
of your mousse. And we're just going to sprinkle toasted hazelnuts over the other half like this. Three little raspberries. That is our delicious dessert ready to go.